Uh, okay, April 27th, maybe the month will end. Oh, yeah, whatever. Carry on. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, request from Japan. They want a satellite. Screw them. I can't give them a satellite because India have left the council. Uh, not now. Come on. Here it is. Now, is this the end of the month or council mission? I just did the terror mission, so this should be the council uh, giving me money. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Good. You should be. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Okay, cool. That's the end of April. <laughs> I, um... I think I did better there. Less UFOs escaped, so I seem to, I guess, manage my planes a lot better. Uh, I passed every mission. I took a lot of casualties, though not as much as the first month, I think. And if you look at this here, America still not in a good state, so I'll have to go there soon if, if when I have the choice. India, they've still withdrawn. Of course, I have to actually go there and uh, free them, I guess. Uh, I still haven't put a satellite in Argentina and Brazil, even though that will give me a $200 bonus if I put it in there. And now Japan here. Uh, if I do that, though, well, I need a satellite. I need engineers to build a satellite, and I also need uh, room in the base to build another satellite uplink, and I just haven't had the money to do that for a while. But overall, I think I've done very good. The whole goal of, goal of capturing Europe uh, is going all right. Uh, Russia went down with that terror mission. France is there as well. United Kingdom and Germany, this is where our satellite is in at the moment, Germany. I would like to put one in Russia or France, maybe... Well, it doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, I think the next point is Argentina or Brazil, just for that extra money. But, uh, success. Sure. We will be in touch, Commander. Now that should give me a bunch of money. Right? Yes, 437 credits, yes! Okay, now the first thing I want to know... Well, I could probably... No, I can't build a satellite. See, I need 30 engineers. I need to go to... Can I sell anything? No. Oh, I could probably sell stuff. I don't know what to sell, though. I'm scared of doing that. You know, I could probably sell some sectoid courses. Uh, sure, random number. Uh, I can build facilities, because I want to build a satellite uplink, okay? And I really... I still can't... 20 engineers. Gosh. Uh, not enough engineers. And this is getting built. Seven. Uh, well, I know what I need. I know what I need. I need ships. Okay, because I, if I want more bases in other areas, I need ships to defend that base. Uh, hang on, capacity. Really? One, two, three, four. Really? Okay, I guess another slot will unlock. Uh, sure, let's... So oh, no. It's kind of risky doing that. Uh, do I want to... Do I want to master the playing game or do something else during the month? I think I'll just buy one at the moment. Three days, that's not long at all. Uh, it's something. Uh, what else should I do? Uh, you see, they all want satellites. Canada wants weapon fragments. Screw them, I'm not giving them weapon fragments. Maybe later on in the game. Uh, nothing against Canada. I love Canada. Oh, here's the excellent finance. Gross monthly income is 752. I want to raise that by 100 or 42. I have to put a satellite in South America, of course. I have 34 soldiers? That doesn't seem like much. Uh, oh, I have three more, sure. Soldiers are, are the cheapest thing in this game. Research is going slow. 29 days for beam weapons. Just engineering. I still can't build it. I can build a few things. Alien, scope, medikit. Uh, I think I'll build this, because I have to build one anyway. So I'll just build one. That's actually... Oh, that's actually kind of expensive. 91? Jesus. And we don't have any more sh any more money for a ship. So I think that's probably all we can do uh, for now. Uh, I think. guess we should find a mission. First mission of the month. Come on. Oh, what the hell's going on here? A pending request on behalf of Canada has expired. Canada doesn't want weapons anymore. New soldiers. Interceptor order has arrived at Europe's... Uh, Okay, so a bunch of nothing really, and yeah, I, I don't care about Canada at the moment. Alright, no, Jerry, this is alright. This gives me $81, that's awesome! What was that terror mission? Did That that didn't give me much. I think of that, no, that didn't give me much at all. It's not $81, I know that. Um, I don't know if this is a problem with the Long War mod, but I remember in normal vanilla XCOM, you usually have a choice of which abduction site you want to go to, and that kind of helps you 
Well, I like th I like having a choice. You know, it's a game. You know, choice is awesome. Oh, Zang is back! Oh man, finally, Jesus! He's been in one mission before. He's our highest ranking soldier, Sergeant Zang. I'm gonna change all these soldiers. Maybe put a rookie in there. So Zhang is back. The last mission he was in was in episode 11. I don't remember it being a very successful mission. All I remember was it being very violent. We lost a lot. Uh, but I have engineers, infantry, another rookie over here, sniper, and this guy here, Ryan. I'm going to change his name. Lucius Seal! Is that, is that your hair color? Kind of brownish? I don't know. I gave you sideburns as well because, I don't know, sideburns are awesome. Uh, Lucius makes his own YouTube channel. He doesn't do XCOM, but he does other stuff, so I'll put his channel in the description down below. Click on that and go tell him he sucks, he rules, or whatever. Or maybe both. Uh, I'm gonna jump in match and see... Oh, rookie seal. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, oh, something I do need to mention is that for every class, I'm gonna be changing their armor just so it's a bit more distinctive on the battlefield, so it's easier to uh, recognize everyone. So for infantry, I'm going to change it to a different uh, armor decoration, not that, that. You see, it's kind of like a, it looks like heavy armor. It doesn't change, it. Like it, it's just cosmetic, okay? It's not gameplay focus or anything like that. Actually, is that the right color? Because this is, an, I'm doing it, I'm still doing it by American colors. Is that orange tint good? I don't know, I'll see if I can do anything about that. Nah, you're stuck with the orange. Tough. Uh, I'll do that to... Uh, should I do it for Zhang? Yeah. Awesome. Look at them. They look badass. And we got an engineer over here. I'm going to change that as well. You probably know which one I'm going to change it to because there's not many pieces of decoration. There's just that, that, and that. I'm going to change it to that because he's an engineer and he, he has a few explosives with him. Look at it. Look at the size of that grenade. I don't think grenades are usually that big. I kind of like that art design choice for, for XCOM. I kind of really like it. I understand it as well because it's isometric view, so things just have to be bigger. Maybe that's how game designers do it though. They, they make big swords, big weapons, guns and things are uh, in games like Diablo, uh, XCOM obviously, and games like this because they want people to see the weapon. Alright Nigeria, what have you got for us? I want to see what the armor looks like. They should look a lot more, they should look a lot more well, full of character now. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> um, just look around this map. There is no cover. There is no cover for a while unless I run to that building. I probably should sprint to that building as well. Here they are. Oh. Oh, shot on a thin man. We got four damage on him. A grenade could clean them all up. No shit. <laughs> yeah, he's like, fuck this, I'm out. You guys can go attack him. Hey, I like that. So, looks like we're robbing the store. <laughs> well, good. None of them are on Overwatch. Zhang can flank him on the outside here. Oh, oh. Nice. So that should secure one flank for us to use. Um. I, w I really want to throw a grenade in there. I just want to, yeah. I want to. Mm, do I want to? That might get rid. That might destroy this cover, which we might need to use. Screw it. Fun. Fun first. Let's uh, grenade him. Robbing the store. Might as well grenade. Yeah. Not bad. Now he has no cover. Uh. Well, a rookie over here has. Pretty good shot. 66. Yeah. Contact. Oh shit! Are they gonna go left or right? Left or right? Left. That is not what I wanted. Come inside! Or not. They're saying the exact same thing. Oh! This wall's on fire. I think the wall's on fire. This means the wall could break open. So uh, how the hell do we have vision on them then? Unless there's a... There's a hole. There's a hole. Okay then. How did that happen? 
I think that the, the what was on fire from the fight before from the grenade. Okay then, one grenade can probably clean them clean them up. This guy is insane. It's one grenade for everything. Uh, if I can throw it right, if I can get into a good position. Gosh. Dude. XCOM logic. <laughs> I have to... <laughs> so that's the secret. I have to be facing the exact wrong way. Fire the gun in that wrong way. To get a guaranteed kill. And a critical. Who knew? I want my rookies to get a kill. I want Lucius to get a kill. Uh, I could grenade him. But I'm... I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. And maybe our rookies can kill something. Kill... Or maybe they can't. They move together, which is weird. Four critical, no. He. Oh, weird. Sure did. They should have killed him when they had the chance. Let's just shoot that thing in the butt. What? I press reload instead? Shit. So that's a new unit. Crap. I was hoping to have at least a turn of reloading and healing, but uh, I guess XCOM doesn't want me to do that. Uh, that's why I have got a Sniper here. He has got a lot of ammo, 45. He does not have a steady weapon though. So I'll have to do that this turn. Uh, I guess I need these three in the fight. These three are pretty reliable. These three are not. Well, Ferguson is very reliable. And look at this huge spot here. This should get rid of the cover, which they could use, and the wall. Very important. Seal, you now have 62% chance. Can you hit that? Yeah! Kill for seal. And Ferguson is safe to move up for a little bit. Uh... Maybe, kind of, roughly. That is a big space right there. We can go there, I guess. So what can this muton do? He can throw grenades! Oh no. What? Oh no! Oh, I didn't know. That, that grenade did seven damage and six damage to this... Ferguson. Oh no, that's that's the first time I've lost a rookie in the same mission as he's come up, as in a pink VIP rookie, which I'm, I'm supposed to protect. Oh no, Lucius. See, if you didn't get that kill in the round before, then you'd be alive, because that's just how XCOM works, I guess. It doesn't like to kill useless people. You were, you were actually useful <laughs> in that round before, and who knew, you could have gone on to become a sergeant or something. Uh, something like this guy has been Zhang. Oh, I I couldn't have predicted that. I couldn't have predicted a damn grenade would hit that guy and kill in one hit with seven critical. That's stupid. Gosh. I know this sniper has been crap. Like in past missions he has been crap. And you know, there's no surprise here. Sure, get a grenade, get some damage on him. Or at least destroy the cover. He'll probably move though. Oh! Some damage, some revenge. It's not much revenge, but... Oh! Perfect! It's like a plan, that. Yep. Thank you, Lucius. I, I, I sacrificed you. Great job at dying. You, you did good. Well done. Best, uh, best person at getting killed ever. 
sorry. Oh wow! <sighs> oh, damn! I don't know what I could have done better there. Like, I, I guess if I knew that the mutant could throw a grenade. <sighs> that sucks. This arsehole of a sniper can be promoted, so I'm going to give him a battle scanner because he is a useless shot. Almost. Aim 81. I don't think so. And Denise Hicks was awesome. She only got two kills, but in that one mission, I'll make her a medic. So we got a few pieces. We did use grenades quite a lot, actually. Actually, yeah, quite a lot. Probably too much. I don't know. I'll, I'll take that. We got $81 for it. Uh... That means we have. Uh, that means there's over 200 credit skins, so I can probably build another ship, or I could. Uh, what's this? What's this? Build facilities. <sighs> Three days for a workshop. That is the most important thing at the moment. I also need to excavate. 127. Holy crap! I didn't know it was that much. And what I also need is a medikit. <laughs> I really need this. 87 dollar. God, so much money. I can't afford it. So I'm in the new month now of May. You see, I've kind of been doing alright, but I just had a mission where I lost someone. I lost Lucius, the rookie VIP, which I always try and protect. Um, I could not have predicted a 7 critical grenade from a new unit popping up. That was insane. I mean, Ferguson nearly died as well, but he just had one more piece of health, and he is He's a corporal, he's a rank higher than the rookie. Uh, that sucks, that really sucks. That's not, nothing I can really say yet. Nothing else I can really say about it. But we will scan for the next mission. Hopefully something good pops up. A U UFO has landed. Okay, we're gonna... I have to do this. Um, I have heard the yellow underneath a UFO is very important. Um, I have to do this, so... I have to do this, so I'll send the Sky Ranger there. Now, I will put in... Do I do this? I, no, I feel like I need a break from protecting VIPs. Yeah, I feel like I need a break. I'll pick a good squad. Uh, maybe Juan can come along for it. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Mira again. Mira's good. Uh, I don't know. I'll sort it out and I'll see you in the next video.